course, Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray fangirl. After all these years, he still can't own up to his own responsibilities. Oh, son of a... Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. Yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. It's still a thing of beauty. Can't sit here. Up on her. Let's get airborne. Party crashers. Oh, hey, fellas. Feels like old times. Gonna need a helmet. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. Give you a seven out of ten. Good to see you, Georgie boy. You've been working out? Feel any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey, you're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton. This is your new place. But I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh. Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green man. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. <laughs> nice moves, kiddo. Yeah, Ma. <laughs> Stay close to the Hulk, or as close as he'll let you. No, I got this. Watch. Wait, you're not ready for... Or maybe you are. Frankly, I'm 
I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Percy and I are seeing someone about our issue. She's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. Jarvis! You haven't aged a day. Welcome back, Mr. Stark. Missed you, buddy. You flying free? In full working order. Give me the worst of it. The Chimera is running on secondary power. Major hull damage is also detected. Engines are offline. Climate... So it's bad. That is an accurate assessment. Okay, we gotta get this bird airborne. <laughs> Excuse me? AIM knows it's here. So it needs to not be here when they get here. What? All right, while we work on cleanup, you mind taking a look at something for me? Certainly, sir. See what you can do about decrypting this file. At once. Gotta see why the turbines won't activate. Better check out the initiator cores in the hangar.
Do I want to know what's going on here? Hey, Tony. Just lending my, um, technical knowledge to Bruce here. Wait, wasn't this working before? Okay, Jarvis. Time me. 1.04 seconds, sir. Huh. Guess I'm a bit rusty. Jarvis, pop question. Where do we keep the spark plugs? The initiator cores can be found in the far corner of the lower deck, sir. Correct, Amundo. Do I win a prize now, sir? You win the biggest prize of all, my affection. How exciting. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly up to safety standard. I think I've found the problem. If I just... Oh! It's definitely the initiator cores. Wait, don't the bigger aimbots use similar cores? If we could get a hold of one, I could get this old bird in the air in no time. Indeed, sir. But someone would need to procure said initiator cores. Yeah, I barely have a suit. Maybe I could cobble something together. I'll search inventory for leftover pieces of armor. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Tony, I'm still working on the door, but can you check on Kamala? I think she may have turned off her comms. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, this whole thing, it's uh, probably a tough adjustment. You got it. Second floor of the old crew quarters, right? Jarvis, can you see if she's even up there? Sir, there are no surveillance systems in the private quarters. Whose terrible hippie idea was that? Yours, sir. Right. Whoa. <gasps> hey! Sorry? You should have knocked. I was trying uh, as a knocking fist. Jarvis, help me out here. It appears the locking mechanisms on some of the Chimera's crew quarters have not been enabled. There you have it. I will fix that. Please do. I'm gonna meet up on the command deck in about 10 minutes. You should, uh, should come. I know, I, I look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Man. No, 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 we all do. It's part of the job. Have you seen Thor's outfit? Flowing robe, Vegas shoulder pads. I mean, Pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I am digging this, uh... Oh, it's a burkini. My mom bought it for me. Muslim ladies like to wear it for sports and stuff. It's great. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna change. Wait, 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 wait. The outfit is, is all about attitude. You gotta wear it like you mean it. Show me what you got. Come on, you can do better than that. Yeah, now we're talking? All right. You know what? Maybe I can help you with some upgrades for that. Gear's already spinning. Really? Yeah. Oh, and if Bruce says anything, just remind him that all he wears are super stretchy shorts. <laughs> Bruce, the kid's fine. She's tough. Kind of like her. And she laughs at my jokes. Sir, in case you were wondering, your old room is still intact. This place is a mess. Just as you left it. You know, when I was living on the ranch, it took me years to stop asking you out loud for things. Jarvis, start the coffee pot. Jarvis, empty the sewage tank. Jarvis, where are my socks? I'm pleased to see that you survived without me, sir. Ah, it's good to be back.
You're still working on this door, huh? Well, I just need to remove the entire junction box and reconnect the... Ah! Great job, buddy. See? Wasn't so hard. Home sweet home. All right, if we're gonna get anywhere, we'll need to establish an alternate power source. The Chimera was built for Terrigen, but I can convert it to run on something a little less explodey. I'm scanning the region for sources, but it'll take some time to identify potential initiator core heat signatures. Well, in the meantime, I need a new suit. Where can I find parts to repair the fabrication unit? I've located a good salvage spot and have sent the coordinates to the war table. When you're ready. War table, got it. Fix the fabrication unit, get a shiny new suit, and get this bird off the ground. No way I'm gonna be any help fixing up the Chimera without my own upgrade. Jarvis, what do you got for me? AIM is moving an experimental dropship, which could be appropriated for parts to repair the fabrication machine. Unfortunately, it's extremely well guarded. But AIM's local defenses are designed around a large-scale air assault. If I fly in alone, using the canyon for cover, I should be able to slip through and jack the dropship. It's risky, but I don't see an alternative at this point. I'll upload the dropship's last known location to your HUD. The canyon walls prevent me from fully confirming the intel. I suggest you work quickly. Well, not exactly rocking a state-of-the-art suit, but it should get me there in one piece. Two, max. We need, we need to move fast. Updating your HUD. Aim appears aware of our intruder. How about we call this a surprise visit? Intrusion makes it sound like we're the bad guys. Noted, sir. Acquisition trip it is. I'm not sure how long our quarry will remain at its location. I hear you. We should hurry. How much firepower does AIM have down here? Rather a lot, it would seem. And how much was Bill with tech they stole from Stark Industries after A-Day? It's impossible to say at this stage. Possibly rather a lot. Karma is not my friend. The suit's doing great. Isn't calling it a suit rather generous? Ha, <laughs> that's funny. Make the AI sassy, I said. It'll be fun, I said. <laughs> that elevator goes to the landing pad we need. Gotcha. Look at all this. Which nation state is AIM planning to go to war with? Those munitions also appear similar to your designs. Makes a guy sort of want to blow them up. Ah! 
Use the elevator. Let's get the dropship and get gone, before AIM brings the big guns, literally. I quite agree, sir. It's safe to say Dr. Tarleton would relish the chance to dance on your grave. Thanks, Jarvis. Now I'm stuck with a mental image of George doing the robot on my headstone. Apologies, sir. If I'm correct, the dropship should be just up ahead. Well, this place looks homey. Where the hell is my dropship? Scanning. The dropship was moved to a more secure location ahead. We can't get there before it takes off. We can if we overcharge the suit by 300% and take the direct route. Sir, you might literally explode, and that canyon is treacherous. Sure, but I feel the need for speed. Do it, Goose, and play something fast. Your suit won't last forever. This suit's all I've got left after George burned Golden Acres to the ground. I'm not losing it. The gloves are making weird noises. Unsurprising. You just lost an acoustic dampening circuit. All systems are red. You don't fit. Keep going, sir. Jarvis, this is my shot to make up for A-Day, help the kid, and, if I'm honest, Stick it to Georgie boy. You're damn right I'll keep going. Watch out. Their artillery's targeting you. Incoming. On it! The dropship shielded. Use all the juice left in the suit to get an EMP burst ready for me to trigger. Yes, sir. I've scanned the dropship and it contains the needed parts to repair the Chimera's fabrication machine. Excellent. Let's check in on the kids and head home. Bruce, Kamala, you read me? Loud and clear. Uh, Bruce is in the harm room pretending to be, uh... I don't even want to know. So, any luck out there? Success. We'll all be in new threads soon. The fabricate. Well, that was fun. Gotta say, it's nice to be back in the saddle. Yes, sir. You haven't missed a beat. Ah, glad to see that flattery upgrade kicked in. Now, let's take a peek at our loot. Ah, we hit the jackpot, buddy. This is exactly what I need to fix the fabrication machine. Glad to hear it. Especially as your current suit is now, how would you put it? Kaput. Hey, hey. Did the job, right? I thought this tech looked familiar. These are all based on my designs. Some are near exact. They're sure taking advantage of the Stark tech acquisition. I was kind of hoping they'd just sit on the assets. Utah residents, did you feel an earthquake this morning? The United States Geological... More like it. Don't it look amazing, Jarvis? Take my picture. Well done, sir. Finally feeling like my old self. 
Along with the fabrication machine, I've managed to route power to various other areas, including the inventory vault. I'm detecting some old equipment in your vault, sir. Should I incinerate it? What? No! That's not trash, Jarvis. It's my stuff. I'll go take a look. As you wish. See? Not trash. Indeed. I'm sure you'll use this to store many more treasures. Sir, representatives from our friends at S.H.I.E.L.D. are now aboard the Chimera. Agent Marat... is in the command nest. She may be able to help with the parts needed for the ship. Great. Look forward to meeting her. Hey, you got... Hey there. I was told S.H.I.E.L.D. was in the house. I'm Agent Alessandra Morales. I'll be your point of contact for S.H.I.E.L.D. day to day. If you ever have any spare cycles, come see me. There's plenty that needs doing. Very nice to meet you, Morales. I need to find some parts to get this old girl in the air. Maybe I can kill two birds with one stone? Help out my old shield pals while I'm at it? I'm short-handed as it is. Someone like you helping out would be amazing. I knew you'd come through. Thank you. Sir, a new S.H.I.E.L.D. representative has joined us and is now stationed in the commons area. All handmade, all fantastic, all proceeds keep me an espresso for a little longer. Not gonna fund my coffee habit, really? Agent Levine is on the hangar deck. If you have a moment, he can likely assist in further upgrades of your equipment. Keep me in coffee and check out what I've got for sale. Not to your taste, I'll work on it.
Still can't believe they found this thing. Miss you, buddy. How do I look, kid? Presentable? No. Charming? You cleaned up nice. Smell a lot better, too. Ouch. I was hoping for a better first impression. Oh, no. It was pretty good. You earned a lot of points with that scrappy suit stunt. This place is starting to really come to life again, eh? You fishing for a compliment? No, no, never. Just making an observation. Hey, whatever you need, Gaff's your man. Well, if you ever do need anything, you let me know ASA. Sir, my heat signature's scans have detected two potential sources of initiator cores. Potential? Why potential? Unfortunately, due to AIM security systems, Determining the actual source of the heat signatures at this range is impossible. Ugh, another word I don't like. Okay, then we double our chances. Bruce, Kamala, meet me at the war table. We're on our way. Guys, we've got work to do. Nice suit. Touche. How can we help? Jarvis has found a couple heat signatures that might be concentrations of initiator cores, but they're in completely separate locations. Since time is of the essence, we're going to need to hit both locations simultaneously. Bruce, you and Kamala need to search the outskirts of the Badlands while I investigate a city on the eastern seaboard. Hopefully, one of these spots yield us those initiator cores. You got it. Jarvis, how much longer? Approaching the location shortly, sir. Great. We've got to find those initiator cores and get back to fixing. It's only a matter of time before AIM pinpoints the Chimera's location, and we need our base of operations up and running. Oh, I look so good in this suit. Dashing, sir. You are right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is everyone? Seems AIM has evacuated the city due to heavy inhuman activity. Sounds like an excuse to experiment on dangerous technology. Maybe your heat signature hunch was right. A giant stash of initiator cores could power their experiments. The facility is heavily guarded. Expect resistance upon your arrival. You mean they won't be happy to see me? Shocking. This place is a ghost town. Jarvis, how far is the facility? A few meters up ahead, sir.
Anyone else nearby? Civilians? Evacuation be- was all about clean energy, but I'm gonna bet Monica was involved with this somehow? She handled the redistribution of Stark assets within AIM. Uh. Get me in range of their pop-up access junction for long enough and I'll get us in. Keep AIM's units out of range or the hack may be disrupted. Uh. Safe bet then. progress. Stay in range of the junction and keep aim away. Through the first firewall.
Finally! So now that I've reached the AIM security systems, my improved readings of the heat signatures suggest that this may in fact be a much larger power source. So, not initiator cores? It's difficult to say, but our detected intrusion has caused AIM to initiate a self-destruct sequence. And based on the size of the heat signature... Let me guess, it could level a few blocks? That is correct, sir. Well, AIM's not destroying another city on my watch. See what all the fuss is about, shall we? You can assume it will be well protected. No welcome banners. Got it. Behind these doors, Ames willing to destroy everything to hide it. Not good at all. This is my arc reactor technology, but supersized. This could level cities. What is Aim thinking? Oh. Hello there, handsome. Sir, the reactors are becoming increasingly unstable. You must shut it down. Taking out those amplifiers are the only way to shut it down. Get out of this place. 
Congratulations, sir. You've successfully destroyed the arc reactor. Well, that's not something I ever expected to hear you say. Let's salvage what we can and get out of here. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, just, you know, I made it for all the right reasons. That's what I told myself. But look at what happened. The Terrigen reactor, aiding. Now this... I can't control what other people do with my tech, but I can't pretend it's out of my hands anymore. I'm proud of you, sir. Yeah. I'm proud of me, too. Speaking of trouble... Bruce, Kamala, any luck with those initiator cores? Uh, working on it. Tony, we've been searching for hours, but there's one area I've been avoiding. We're just about there. It's a bit of a hotbed for AIM activity. I'm gonna have to bring out the big guy. Okay, kids, I'm counting on you finding this second heat signature. Hopefully it yields us a bounty of initiator cores. It won't be long till AIM pinpoints the location of the Chimera, and without a base of operations, yeah, well, we won't have much of a chance. So, don't let me down. And good luck. Um, that's a lot of pressure. No, it's... Yeah, definitely. Okay, I can't let Mr. Stark down. Jarvis, where should I start? The second heat signature has a few scattered spots surrounding a rather large center suggesting a significant concentration of potential initiator cores. It must be stored in a single location. A structure, perhaps. Got it. Got eyes on anything? All clear here. that symbol before <laughs> this is a memorial in honor of those who gave their lives for the resistance they were here <laughs> I know not the mission <laughs> Jarvis? Yes, Miss Khan. Is it me, or is the Hulk not his bright green self? It appears Dr. Banner has been struggling with the passing of our beloved captain, Miss Khan. From his recorded memos, he returned to Chimera determined to solve the events of A Day, but instead grew more frustrated with his perceived failings. Oh, of course. Bruce feels guilty. It seems they all do, Miss Khan. Alpha, bravo!
found a tech stash in section 12. Yeah. Junking it. Shaking? Is that what You're I You're approaching it? more aim equipment. Hopefully the kind we need. destroy as many as possible then we must hurry target spotted that's the hulk we need backup out here i don't like the look of these guys they aren't the normal aim tin cans miss khan i believe they may be part of a group who call themselves the watchdogs a radical anti-superhero organization. Great! Looks like they're working for AIM now.
We have scavenged every part of this desert by now. It's not gonna be enough. <sighs> Am I alone? What? Where are all the other Inhumans? Why aren't they fighting back? I... I... I've seen the Resistance symbols. I've heard rumors of a rebellion, but still nothing? I don't feel sick at all. I've never felt more alive. What if I'm wrong? I know what that feels like. These powers are a part of us. And all I do know, it's a lot better if you just embrace that. Or something like that. My dad used to say the same thing. Well, he's a smart guy. <laughs> the best. You should head back to the Chimera. Okay. Stay where you are! Oh, come on, man. A uh, kid and an old guy. Old guy. All right. Dr. Pym will see you now. D Hank Pym? Hank? Bruce? What are you doing out here? I could ask you the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, Kamala, this is Dr. Hank Pym. Ant-Man? That was, uh, another life. Follow me. Okay, so this is the heat signature we've been searching for. We have been salvaging weapons, robots, aim tech, anything we can to build up our defenses. Could spare some of these initiator cores? You know, help out a helicarrier in need of some TLC? I imagine we can make some arrangements. Thank you very much. What <laughs> is this place? We call it the Ant Hill. Oh. Not my idea. I think it was one of our anonymous hackers, Tiny Dancer. <laughs> no way. So. so they're all. Inhumans, yes. Many of them were prisoners at an AIM facility. I guess they were fighting back after all. Make yourself at home. We've got lots to catch up on. This place is more than I ever imagined. 